channel. How are you today? Today I'm here with my collaboration, top five series collaboration with my best friend, Samantha. Today we are talking about red and vampy lips. When we were talking about this video, I was like, you know what? We had originally decided to do pinks and reds, and I was like, I don't know, something about that just doesn't, just doesn't vibe, you know? And she's like, we need to do reds and vampies because they're sexy. A brief synopsis or summary. We're doing this collaboration together because our personal taste is different, because our skin types are different, our skin tones are different, and we just thought that we would give you a really great perspective from two different points of views, two different preferences, so instead of getting a top five, it's like you're getting a top 10. And so when we were preparing for this video, she was telling me, my friend Samantha was telling me that red lips make her feel powerful, like she could just take over the world. And I was like, you know, when I wear red lips, I feel really self-conscious because my smile is so big and I have a gummy smile. So anytime that I wear a really bright colored lipstick, it gets all over my teeth, my gums, my tongue, everywhere. And I do like the finger trick and the napkin and all that stuff. And it just... It just, it just ends up getting everywhere. The more I thought about what she said, about how it makes her feel powerful, I realized that it's such, makeup is such a powerful tool. You know, just in general, it makes us feel more confident, it makes us feel more beautiful. It makes us, it could really just change our mindset when we put on a lipstick. And I know that when I put on a really dark, vampy lip, my husband hates it. But it's one of the few times that I actually feel sexy. You know, typically I'm goofy, I'm lanky, I'm, I'm dorky, I make fun of myself, I make cartoon voices, and I'm a dork. But when I put on a, like a vampy lip, a dark, dark, almost black lip, I feel like sexy and mysterious. So this video, needless to say, is, some, is a video, it's probably my favorite of the lipstick one to film for you guys because I have some options to share with you if you didn't see it already in the introduction. And I have some dupes. So some of them are cheaper, some of them are expensive, but I have a lot of similarities in my collection. So I wanted to share them with you guys in case you already have it or you wanted an, like a high-end alternative or a drugstore alternative. So we're hooking you up here at Coffee Break Headquarters. What is this? This is my vampy dance. See? I just, sexy just doesn't. It's just, let me bring you in closer. <laughs> Let's get started with what's on my lips right now. And this is out of order from how you saw it in the intro, but that's okay because we're rebels. YOLO. You know how we do here at Coffee Break with Danny. The first one that I'm wearing is my favorite red ever in lipstick form. Not in like long wearing liquid lipstick, no. In lipstick form, my favorite red ever is this one. And this is Cruella by NARS. If you want to feel like you have the whitest teeth on the planet, like I'm talking, you took some milk, you froze it, and you stuck it in your mouth, you wear this red. This red gives you the widest smile ever. It is just, oh, look at that. Look at my teeth. They're really not that white, you guys. It's all a trick. So that's Cruella by NARS. The only other red in this series or in this video that I want to share with you are for the comfortable red wearers or the I'm kind of scared of red so I'm not sure I'm ready for that commitment and this is As You Want Victoria from Rimmel. It's like a raspberry red but it's so creamy and delicious. The formula reminds me of the Lustrous Cream I think it's called from Bite Beauty. It is so silky and soft. I mean, one swipe and it's like full pigment. It's, it's incredible. The formula is to die for. So if you're kind of nervous about reds and you're not ready for like this red, this is a really beautiful raspberry, almost like a strawberry red. So it's, it's not, it's not pink. It's not red. It's just, it's kind of in between. So it's a little safe, but it's a really, really pretty, very, very, very pretty red. Then the lip that makes me feel the most vampy, the most sexy, the most mysterious, almost like coffee break, coffee break with ninja Danny status. Okay, just I need to stop. <laughs> is another one from NARS, and this is called Train Blue. And it's like the deepest aubergine color ever. I mean, it's 
so purple it's black. The problem with this, it's, it's a really beautiful color, but it is so patchy. You have to go over and over and over and over and over and swipe it over and over and over and over and over to get even application. And you definitely have to use a lip primer to facilitate that. So it's a matte, deep aubergine, but uh, it's so tricky to apply. Like I'm, I'm willing. I'll put the work in and I will, I will break my back putting on this color because that's how much I love it, but it's, it's hard. It's hard to get that smooth, even application. If you're like, you know what, Danny, ain't nobody got time for that and give me another option. A very similar shade is Vamp It Up from Wet n Wild, but because this color is so creamy, so see, it's kind of like opposites. This one is patchy, so you have to go over and over and over and over again. This one is so creamy that it could go downhill real fast. Like, it could go bad real quick, so you have to be very careful. Um, but it's very similar. I mean, I would say it's the same color, except it's a lot creamier, so it's gonna look a little bit more opaque, but it's the same color. That's right there. You see how pigmented it is? So, I'm scared. With Wine Wild lipsticks, because the shape of the bullet is so bizarre, I make a mess. Like. I, I look like I already had four margaritas when I use a wet and wild lipstick, so <laughs> even though I really love them, it takes a lip brush, a lip liner, or a really steady hand, and after like six coffees, I don't got any of those. Then, another one of my favorites is Fashion Revival from MAC. This is a matte finish lipstick. Uh, oh, I love this color. It's like a, it's like, oh, how can I describe it? That's right there. It's like a berry wine, a wineish berry. I don't need to describe. Can I just show it to you guys? You guys know I'm terrible at those descriptions. So that's Fashion Revival. It is a matte, but it's actually one of the more comfortable ones. I don't know if you guys have tried like matte MAC lipsticks that pull, the matte ones. They pull a little bit. They're kind of dry, but this one's surprisingly creamy. Is that a nail mark? Oh, classy Danny. Uh, so that's Fashion Revival. And you're like, you know what, Danny? I don't want a matte lip. I want that color, but I don't want it in matte. Do you have an option for me? Of course I do. And this is a really, a really fancy lipstick. This is Tom Ford right here. It's 50 bucks. If you really want a $50 lipstick, I honestly would rather get the $16 one and just put a clear gloss over it. But if you want a more creamy lipstick, this is Bruised Plum from Tom Ford, and it is basically the same color, except it's creamier. But because it's creamier, you're not going to get that full opacity of the color. You see, it's creamier, it's a little bit glossier, but it's going to sheer out or be almost, um, it kind of, it's not as opaque. It's not an even deposit of color because of the finish of the lipstick, but that's the option right there. So again, this is Fashion Revival from MAC, and then over here is Bruised Plum from Tom Ford. The last one that I wanna share with you guys is one of my absolute favorites, and this is another Wet n Wild color. This is called Cherry Bomb, and I was wearing it in a video recently. I'm trying to think of which one. I'll link it down below if I can remember. Um, so this is Cherry Bomb from Wet n Wild, and it's going to look a little bit similar to the one I just showed you from MAC, Fashion Revival, but it is different. So let me see. That's Fashion Revival right there, and then that is Cherry Bomb from Wet n Wild. You see how opaque Wet n Wild lipsticks are? I mean, I just, they never, I wish they would change the shape of the bullet. It's so hard to put it on, especially when with these vampy colors, they're like the kings of vampy colors. They make them so beautifully, but it's just, it's really hard to get in there, especially if you have a really defined Cupid's bow. But you're like, you know what, Danny? I'm not about to deal with the mess of that bullet. I want something that looks more of like a real lipstick. Uh, Black Cherry from Milani is the same color, uh, but it has that scent. You know that signature Milani scent? So it's very, it's, it's the same color, you guys. It's the same color, same finish, but I do prefer my uh, Wet n Wild one. So let me show you. 
At the top, this is Cherry Bomb from Wet n Wild, and then at the bottom right here, that is Milani's Black Cherry. So they are the same color, but it's the bullet. It's the bullet. The bullet gets me every time. I mean, if I'm in a hurry, there's no way in heck I'm going to wear a vampy lip because I can't get in there. You know, I, just, I just can't get in there the way I'm supposed to. So that might be a selling point for you guys. These are the things you need to consider if you're a makeup junkie, right? The shape of the bullet. Well, that is it for this collaboration video. These are my top five favorite reds and vampy lips. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Like always, all of these lipsticks all of them, including the dupes or alternatives, will be listed in the description box below. So please check there first. And also please head over to Samantha's channel to see which colors she picked out. I'm really, really interested in seeing what she picked out. I'm, I haven't cheated this time. Sometimes I cheat and I ask her ahead of time. I haven't cheated this time. I really hope you guys are enjoying this series. I will leave Samantha's channel and video along with our playlist of all our other top fives in the description box below. Please let us know what your favorite vampy lip is in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over.